Hello and thanks for watching our video. Today Mazir Enterprises would like to help you take a look at your starting system, most especially the main cable side, and help you to troubleshoot problems such as poor cranking speed, kickback, and intermittent solenoid clicking. So let's take a look. If you're changing to a Mazir starter from another type of gear reduction starter, there will be an increased electrical demand on the solenoid side. Our starters can demand up to 40 amps to activate and rarely are start switches and neutral safety switches rated this high. If this is an issue for you, please see our video for our start relay, the WIK400. To begin the test, you'll want your batteries fully charged. Set your voltmeter on 0 to 20 volts. The battery should check between 12.5 and 13.2 fully charged. And now we're going to crank to get a baseline while it's under load. Next, we'll perform the t same test, except with the leads connected at the starter. So what we saw was 11.1 volts under load at the battery and under 9 volts at the starter. That's over 2 volts lost through the system. A good car is going to be about 1 volt lost through the system. So what we're going to do now is check at the different points in the system so that we can isolate which components are causing the loss. Now we'll check the back side of the switch. So after checking at the master cutoff switch, we now know that we have a small loss through the primary wire, a small loss through the master cutoff switch, but over one volt loss through the main cable running from the front to the back of the car. These, it's quite common for these cars to be set up with cable that's too small for the job. We recommend one aught cable, fine stranded, high quality wire. So what we're going to do now is we're going to change that cable out and see how the voltage check improves. All right, so we're just completing the change out of the cable as well as the uh, installation of the new master cutoff switch. Uh, in an attempt to make this system as good as it can possibly be, we decided we needed to get rid of that extra half a volt drop. So the final thing is to check the system again, front and back, and see what the voltage loss is. Let's check it out. So with the changes we've made, we've got a pretty good result. We've got about one volt loss in this car. The spin is much faster and under hot cranking conditions it's going to be much more reliable. Thanks for watching our video and please contact us if you have any questions about these products or any others.